All right, so what we're going to do now, we have the, the laptop is hooked up and running to the uh, ALDL software. So we're going to put our half inch wrench on the throttle nut, on the driver nut rather, and we're going to do very small turns. I mean, we're only talking in total, this is probably going to turn a quarter of an inch, um, you know, not even um, the sixteenth of a total turn, something like that. And the, the TPS will jump around because it's, it's very sensitive to the reading. And also the, the ADL software updates every few seconds. So I make a turn with the wrench. We don't see it immediately on the software. But uh, we want to get it as close to zero as we can. Uh, if, if you're out of the parameter that the electronic control module will accept, you'll end up getting a check engine light, which will tell you that you're, you're, it's not reading the TPS sensor. So that's why it's very important that we set this up uh, to the right, the right parameter at what's effectively idle, and then we'll also do a wide open throttle test later. All right, so here's our laptop up and running on WinALDL. And here you can see right here, this is the throttle position sensor value. We got to the screen by hitting the dash button over here on the top of the software. It opened up this little window. And it shows that right now our TPS is at minus 12.8. And as I said before, we want to get that number as close to zero as we can. So we're going to turn the nut. Okay, now we've gone way over the other side. So we've gone past the recommended setting, so we're going to back it off a little. It's at 4.6. It's still a little too high. We'll back it off a little bit more. Okay, 0.7 is very good. We'll see if we can get a little closer to zero. And one of the problems is when we take the sensor off and lock down the set screw, it changes the value a little. Okay, that's, we're, we're right in there. I mean, you're not going to get a whole lot better than 0.2 or, or minus 0.3. So we're going to leave the setting there for now. And the next thing we'll do is have to take the sensor back off and lock down the set screw.